There we go. Now let's go ahead and mute the mic aux. It's not the fit. Well, it is. 58 is turned off. I've got on the mixer. Oh, I've got that audio turned on. Yeah, I guess I left it on. Okay. <coughs> so it's check one, two. Okay, the first thing I want to do is check the cable. doesn't seem to do anything down at that end that's the end going into the phone the TRS connector now I'm going to wiggle the wire up by the mic Oop, there it goes yeah that's what I had figured out before okay down and up. That's the source of my noise in my videos. I'm going to turn the monitor of that off because it's driving me crazy. <coughs> yeah, so I can't use this anymore. I've, I took it apart once and tried to see if I could see anything wrong with the cable uh, up at the head, my head, and uh, I didn't see anything wrong, but it's really small and hard to work with, but maybe one day I can take it apart and resolder it. I think I, so little I didn't look like I could resolder it, but it works great, except for if you just wiggle the cable a little bit and it makes that noise. It, I kept getting it real bad in my, uh, when I had it plugged into my 4K camera, my Comrie camera, and uh, so, um, I'm going to stop this video. That's all I need. I need to reset. I've got all the cameras going except for the 4K. I forgot it. And uh, I need to eat. I think I'll do all that after I eat. I'm starving now. Uh, and I'm, I'm not. I've been. I've just been barely functioning at all. I can't think straight and everything. My back, hands are jerking. I kind of quit jerking right now. So if I eat and everything, maybe I'll get better. Uh, I'll go through. I see when that um, advanced audio properties where you can turn on monitoring and turn it off, it, it toggles with the up and down arrow keys. I was trying to use the arrow keys to go to all the different scenes. There's cam one, and uh, I'm just going to leave it where it is. I'm not planning on using it that way. I'm planning on taking it outside with my camera doing a live stream. The reason I was going to do that though is because I was going to try to, I was going to take my um, endoscope out there to look up the pipe, uh, but I tried it out on mom's tablet. It will not work. Only thing that, uh, with IP webcam, the only thing that IP webcam can see is the two built-in cameras. It might, I think it will work. I didn't even bother, you know, like just a regular camera app or anything, but I do believe it will work with some kind of camera app that's made for USBs. Uh, but uh, what the other option I can do just to be, I, you know, I'm, I, I can't, I don't know, I, I could, my Dell 6000 laptop is the only other thing I, could really, I have that I can carry out there. Kind of be better anyway because it takes the, 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 you know, the tablets take the really small connector and that, that USB camera, that endoscope, it, it has a connector that's really cool. You flip it, you flip it open and it'll connect to micro USB, the small ones for tablets and phones, the most common one. If you close it, it's regular size and it'll go in the, you know, any computer, laptop, whatever that has regular USBs. So I didn't want to carry it out there because it's running my web server. I didn't want to, it's kind of about ready to, it's not sitting on there. It's not sitting in the best place. Um, let's see. Um, <coughs> And one and four. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, one and two. Uh, one in desktop. Two. 
two is running. It's just laying there. And I started to pick it up and point it at my. Uh, let's make sure it's not froze up or anything. Oh, it could be. No, it's just delayed a bit. But I was thinking about pointing it at my laptop, but that's okay. Okay, two and four. I, I forgot to turn on four for this test. But see, everything's out of. Uh, got messed up because I started playing with OBS. I thought, oh, let's see if I can, if I can do plug in the mic. The mic's plugged into Cam 2 like they are already. I've got mic. It's streaming uh, audio over the Bluetooth, and uh, I'll use it next time uh, uh, after when I start up again. Uh, it's streaming audio over the Bluetooth to my mixer, so I can switch on the mixer between the SM58 and the ET. When I go outside, I plan on plugging that adapter into the camera, the 4K camera, and getting audio to it. Oh, so then I wouldn't have another camera. Yes, yeah, since this mic is not working, I won't actually have, I was going to have two wireless mics, one going over Wi-Fi and one over Bluetooth, but uh, this mic is just too messed up to do that with. I don't have another lapel mic that works. Well, I only got the two sets of lapel mics. I have a really old uh, condenser mic that uh, well, it wouldn't work with the phones anyway. It's a, it's just for plugging into computers, but it's got a messed up cable too, and I never have tried to fix it because it wasn't that great of a mic anyway. And it's really hard for me to see, and my hands can't sit still well enough to solder small things anymore. See, Cam 2 and desktop, so that's what Cam 2 is like. And uh, 4 not on, 4 not on. Endoscope, oh, it's not plugged in either. 1 is on with the endoscope. It says endoscope and cam one, but looky there, cam one is taking over the whole thing. Must have done that somehow. On, I don't know why that would happen. Uh, it wasn't that way before. I won't resize it right now. Uh, see, that's what I got to do is go through and resize everything. I'll do that, not making a video because it might make it crash anyway. Cam two, endoscope. See, cam two's way off the size. When I messed with it. Uh, threw all the cameras off when I was messing with uh, I changed well I didn't change one I added one I added a cam 2 audio but when I gave it it asked me in the middle of all that do I want to save it and I thought well yeah, I don't want to lose it so I saved it well, I, was, I think I was closing OBS and stuff but anyway it changed every one of my cam 2 uh, entrance to uh, what I had made it you know same thing uh, let's see we'll go to the Endoscope and I'll show it. Oh, I don't. Four not on. Okay. Music out. Well, let's. Cam two and desktop. Okay. So. Cam two. Um, I cha I added one in. Uh, maybe I did just change it because it was already there. No, I did it in cam two. And cam two just had cam two. That's how I did it. Yeah. It had cam three audio and. Cam 2. I think I did just change it. I got them. wasn't thinking straight, and I shouldn't have done that because that changed it on all of them. I knew it would do that. I knew it when I'm thinking. But so I changed it back. I had all kinds of trouble changing it back. Well, I figured out there's a certain. Well, if you make a camera, like say you make Cam 2, no, don't keep clicking on it. You make Cam 2. Then instead of re main at first when I first started working with OBS several years ago, I think maybe you did not have had to have done it back then, or I just didn't know. But you can click on a source, right click on it, and just say go up there and say copy, and then you can paste it into all the other scenes where you want it to be really quick, and uh, and it can have the same name. But if you have manually put them in, the H1 have to have a different name and so that's what I got into. Finally I found the one that was causing the trouble and what I ended up doing was deleting it and then uh, it was one like down there with the endoscope or something another entry of cam 2 with the same this same name here and uh, deleted it and then I just copied I renamed this one the way I wanted it because it was I had changed it to cam 2 uh, the last at the very end instead of saying forward slash video it said uh, forward slash audio dot wave that's how you get you said well, this is a VLC stream but it's being done by IP webcam off my phones uh, 
I tried to figure out a way to do it with VLC, but I can't even find a, any app that will stream VLC from a phone. It'll bring it in, but not send it out. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, iQOO webcam is pretty easy to use, uh, and I've been using it for years now. But uh, you have to, you have two separate streams, audio and a video stream. And I've also figured out on my network, even though I've got, oh, uh, my Wi-Fi is actually more than a gigabit. Uh, it's like max speed 15, 1700 megabits, you know, gigabits, a thousand megabits. But uh, it can't handle, it's more the phones, I think, because the most they'll get is like 70 megabits. Uh, they usually run anywhere from 15 to 35 megabits. Uh, they're just their chips that's on them, you know. So uh, to try to do audio and video, the audio and video really just gets ter too, too bad out of sync to even use. But if you run video on a can't want on two two of my cameras, I run video to have two just two separate cameras, you know, two cameras on, on from the phones, and then on phone three of always I set it up as just audio only, and that works as well as it can work. Sometimes it works pretty good, but sometimes it gets such a delay and you know latency and latency between the different cameras and the, and the and the one doing audio and the other two doing video that. If it's point, cameras point at me, it's pretty bad. Sometimes it gets bad enough that I'm showing and telling, and uh, you know I'm way behind what I'm actually doing with my hands or whatever. But anyway, um, just trying to get it back to normal. And what I've been doing, working on the I'm working on the dryer. That's what I'm going to use this for. Is when I'm working on the dryer, and every video, almost every video, well, it, it starts a new video every 24 and a half, 25 minutes. Uh, and that's fine. I'm running it in 4K mode, and uh, and I've been using a wire. Uh, I've been using this little lapel plugged into. First, I just plugged it straight into the camera, and I couldn't go very far at all. It's pretty short cable, because I didn't want to mess up my my dual lapel setup. Uh, the, the cables are so easy to break, you know, they're so small. I didn't want to mess it up out there working, uh, so I didn't take it out there and use it. Plus, it's two cables going back to it's actually not stereo but it's meant for you to like have two people sh you know one each have, having a lapel but it's in mono I don't know why it's not stereo really but um, probably just cheaper to wire it that way somehow but it works um, they both have different adapters you can plug them into the phone it's got two it's got an adapter I have to use this extra long barrel connector to make it go into my phone I was just sitting there on that. I think I can stick this over there where you can see it. Well, I can see it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about, so why does it matter? I can't get it turned the right way, though. Yeah, see, I have to use that long. Oh, great. Why is it always have to be so hard to just to... There we go. Oh, I had it. So uh, now I'm out again, out of the picture again. I never know which way to move when there's something sitting in a weird place. So uh, that barrel connector, it's so far behind it really, it, it's hard to get it lined up because of that, most of all. Um, so it's a TRRS, tip ring, ring sleeve, and these phones actually need this adapter, that barrel connector, it's female to male. And uh, I could be sitting here talking with horrible audio, and I don't even know it because I'm not listening to it. Not, not thinking. Okay, um, let's just play the. I'm going in circles. Play the music out. Get me something to eat, and then I'll go reset all the cameras back into OBS. You know, resize them again, and um, I'll talk on the one that works. And. Uh, I was thinking I would do a live stream and a camera shoot at the same time, but I don't have two mics at work, uh, and I really don't want to see. If I get feeling better, I'm going to get out there and work. I don't need to be fiddling around with. And I realized uh, the, the biggest thing, the main reason I fiddled around with all this was, uh, is I was wanting to, uh, I, I wanted to look up the, look up the vent pipe and make sure there's not a bird's nest up. I can't get on the roof. I want to make sure there's not a bird's nest up in the vent pipe or something like that, clogging it up. <coughs> and uh, uh, I wanted it to, I wanted to stream it so that, uh, like, 
uh, I thought, well, if I plug it into Mom's tablet, I can stream it from there. But that's actually not working. And if I plug it into the laptop, I can see it on the laptop. I can record it on some app. But uh, iFree Webcam doesn't run on you know regular Linux. I'm running Debane 8 on it. And I could, like, it's not powerful enough to, I could set up a VLC stream and pick it up. But, uh, well, I don't have, oh, I can't do that unless I, I haven't ever bothered to try to find it. I, when I first set up with Debane 8, uh, I, could, I didn't find a, a, the Wi-Fi driver. It didn't find one automatically, and I, I kind of looked in the package manager, but I didn't see one, and I didn't want to fool with it. And I was just, uh, and so I just left it. I thought, well, I'll do it later. Well, and it's been a couple, of, three, four years now, and I haven't ever, I only use it, I only used it just a little bit here and there, and then, and I just kept it plugged in. And now, I've just left it running all the time for a year or more. I don't know if it's been two years or what. It's been my web server. It's just plugged into the wired and serving up my website. And uh, getting ready to set up my web server on my actual server that I'm working right, this is, my, de my HP server that I'm working on right now, and I'll set it up in a virtual machine, but I, have, I, I was thinking about doing it, and uh, I set one up just to see what it was like for door 33, I think it is, on uh, the, uh, I don't know if they still call it KVM or what they're calling it anymore, but the default remote uh, uh, virtual machines uh, applications, you set it up in cockpit now, the remote admin app, and uh, I set it up, got one going, and but it makes the machine the whole time it's running. It makes the machine ramp, you know, the, it makes it heat up and work hard, and the, uh, makes the fans run. And I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't tried. Vir I've installed VirtualBox, but I haven't tried anything yet. It may do the same thing. If it does that, I'll need uh, definitely need to put my three fans that I bought, my three fans set up in the attic, and then maybe that'll pull the uh, hot air out quicker and make make it not. Keep running too loud. It was getting. It was too loud. It was really bugging me. You know. I mean, I can hear it right now because I'm doing this. But it's not bad. Well, uh, one time I, first time I ran, uh, did a OBS recording. Let's see what was I? Well, these are the Pell mics or the S58. I don't remember which one. It might have been the 58. Anyway, I could. I heard a noise in the background. I thought it sounded like an edge of feedback or something. And I finally realized. I think it's the fans on the server. <coughs> so. Uh, I'm so out of it, I don't even remember where I put my camera last or anything.